So most recently, Safari Live took on the Gauntlet series. This epic series came from the Maasai Mara in Kenya and the Sabi Sands in South Africa and was broadcast live on National Geographic. In contrast to our regular shows, our entire show took place in complete darkness. It's, it's in pretty difficult conditions we're driving around in here. And this is where a beautiful merger between FLIR and Safari Live came together. Our nighttime rig includes an infrared camera, which comes with its limitations. Infrared light often is reflected off of the bush, and you can't see what's beyond it. Now, I'm sorry about the sticks that we're showing you. The light shines off whatever it can see, and then that's what the camera exposes for. And I don't want to start the engine at the moment and disturb what's going on here. However, mounted to the top of our infrared setup is the FLIR T1K. This allows us to see what's beyond the bush and stick with the action. Ethically, Safari Live avoids using white light. This is in an effort to have minimal impact on the animals. I'm not sure how much closer we're going to be able to get given the terrain that we're in. But just on the top of the tree on my left-hand side is a leopard. Now, I can't see which leopard it is. All I've got is a spotty bum. The FLIR T1K gives us the heat signatures and allows us to observe without interfering at all. And you can see on the FLIR just how, how much easier it is to find these cats through these thickets when it is dark. They really do glow. Look at that. He's in between those trees. He's looking for something. As a director, I love cutting to the thermal camera when an animal is on the hunt. This way, you get a different experience completely. You don't interrupt the animal, and it's more engaging for viewers because you can see the hot spots clearly, and you know that you're not interrupting any of the animal behavior. The FLIR camera ensures that we've got great content on the screen. I've really loved using this camera, not only for its practical use, but within our shows, it's got a cinematic element to it too. You're able to really squash these temperature ranges and produce a picture that really pops. My favorite moment with the FLIR is definitely seeing elephants. Elephants are amazing, especially when they flap their ears in the thermal and you can see their veins in the ear. It's just detail that you don't get from a normal camera. And who doesn't like looking at pink elephants? The bush is calling. Subscribe yourself to Safari Live and immerse yourselves in all things wild and wonderful. If that is not enough, click the bell below for your daily dose of wild safaris.